Hello, we're glad you've joined us to learn a bit more about Metaverse X, which is also known as EGLD or Elrond. This coin is part of the smart contracts sector, similar to Ethereum, the leader of the smart contracts coins. Before we get into the fundamental analysis of Elrond, we want to urge you to watch the whole video, as we will reveal both what $1,000 could look like if Elrond took over the top spot from Ethereum as sector leader, and what the value of $1,000 would be if Elrond had the same market cap as Bitcoin. Coin. So stay tuned, it may make you wonder why you're holding on to cash right now. Welcome to Interweb Coins, where we cover crypto, the economy, and the people that influence it. We're here to lift the clouds, pull back the curtain, and give you a leg up in the world of crypto. Today we're going to do a fundamental analysis of Elrond. This will cover the project's founders, what big players are invested in it, the sector, what it's trying to solve, and of course, a price prediction. One of the most important things we must analyze when looking at any crypto is if its supply is increasing, decreasing, or fixed. Elrond is inflationary in nature, meaning similar to the US dollar, the coins in circulation are currently on the rise. This doesn't necessarily mean that it will continue to lose its value like the dollar, but it makes understanding the tokenomics and watching this whole video that much more important. According to CoinMarketCap's most recent numbers, Elrond has a circulating supply of 23,710,000 and a total max supply of 24,474,807. This means that of the total supply that will be created, 97% is already in circulation. At the time of this video's creation, the price of Elrond is $58.23. It's currently ranked number 40 among all cryptos and ranked number 16 in the smart contract space. Currently, the price of Elrond is negative 89% down from its all-time highs. Nothing we haven't seen before in crypto, as the bears currently have control of the market. Now, before we get carried away with valuation, let's get started on a bit of fundamental analysis on Elrond. Elrond was co-founded in late 2017 by brothers Benjamin and Lucien Minsu, alongside Lucien Todia, as a solution to the problem of blockchain scalability, which they thought to be the most pressing problem facing the industry. Prior to Elrond, Benjamin and Lucien Minsu co-founded MetaChain Capital, a digital asset investment fund, with Benjamin Minsu serving as CEO and Lucien Minsu as Chief Technology Officer. The two also co-founded ICO Market Data, an aggregator of information around initial coin offerings. Benjamin Minsu was also responsible for product, marketing, and community for blockchain platform NEM from 2014 to 2015, in addition to being an early investor in projects such as Zilika, or ZIL, Tezos, or XTZ, Brave, and Binance. Lucian Minsu has additional experience as an information technology engineer and security specialist, having worked with Urinwork24. Seto, and Liebel Systems. Todea is a serial tech entrepreneur who previously founded and served as CEO of Soft32, a software review and download site, and a partner of Mobile Pay, a mobile payments application. He's also an angel investor, having invested in biometrics tech company Typing DNA and accounting platform SmartBill. Alrond is undergoing a massive transformation as the startup rebrands to Metaverse X. The move is meant to reflect the new direction of the company, which will focus on building Metaverse-related products. Alrond was one of the first projects to fundraise through the Binance Launchpad back in 2019. It has built a proprietary blockchain network that merges its secure proof-of-stake, or POS, consensus mechanism with the so-called adaptive state sharding approach, achieving ultimate scalability. With a capacity to process over 10,000 transactions per second, or TPS, at a low cost, Elrond has been ideal for decentralized finance, or DeFi, applications and other dApps. The ecosystem will leverage its existing infrastructure and community to explore metaverse use cases. Elrond announced that it was expanding its mission to build the new internet economy and focus on the metaverse space. The coin recently listed on Coinbase, the largest U.S. crypto exchange by trading volume. Through this new listing, Elrond expands its already considerable worldwide market presence, becoming available for purchase and trade in an intuitive avenue to over 108 million users in more than 100 countries including institutional entities. In June 2019, the project conducted a private investment round raising $1.9 million from several angel investors. That same month, Elrond held an initial exchange offering, or IEO, that raised $3.25 million in exchange for 25% of its total token supply. 
More recently, in April of 2022, the investment fund focused on growing the Elrond network known as Skynet EGLD Capital raised more than $40 million to further accelerate the development of the ecosystem. Financial backers were leading industry companies, including Binance Institutional, Huobi Global, Morningstar Ventures, Spark Digital Capital, and more. Now for the part you've been waiting for. This is the part most investors in crypto blindly focus on. Hopefully this evaluation will spark your curiosity in Elrond, but will also give you a realistic outlook on a potential investment. This evaluation is based on the current supply of Elrond and the all-time high market cap of coins we're comparing it to. Keep in mind, this will not happen tomorrow or possibly ever. However, keep watching and we'll share why we think it's not out of the question. All right. So here we go. So what would $1,000 turn into if Elrond grew to the market cap of Bitcoin at its all-time high of 69000 If you invested $1,000 into Elrond at $58.23, that $1,000 would turn into $868,166. That's an 86,817% gain. So what would $1,000 turn into if Elrond was to overtake Ethereum for the number one spot in the smart contract space? If you invested $1,000 into Elrond at $58.23, that $1,000 would turn into $397,368. Now that we've drawn this picture for you, it's up to you to be realistic. Do they have the team, the use case, the developers? How about the funding? That is up to you to decide and do your own research on. Let's just take a look at the crypto and economy as a whole at the moment. In 2022, the crypto market's market cap has been settling between $500 billion and $2 trillion for the last three years. Now, how would it be impacted if money from other markets joined the party? Money that is currently being shut out of the market due to lack of regulation. According to Seville's World Research, here's a quick estimate of global wealth. Global real estate totals $325 trillion. The world's supply of above-ground gold is estimated at $12.1 trillion. Equities contribute to another $109 trillion. Now, look again at the total size of crypto. Look at the adoption curve. Look at how much money is in the stock market. Gold, real estate, not to even mention in the derivatives markets. If things are properly regulated and institutional money joins the market, are our previous evaluations realistic? Again, that's for you to decide. If you're in or plan to be involved in crypto, you must plan for volatility. And remember, time in the market always trumps timing the market. If you like to be liquid, however, and time macro trends, check out our other videos where we cover crypto adoption, macro level cycle charts, and fellow investors' opinions. If you would like to perform our $1,000 calculation yourself on any other coin you're interested in or at a different price point, we've left a link in the description for you to do so. We hope you've enjoyed this video and choose to let us continue to help you do research on the crypto industry. A like or follow will help us reach more people and let us know we're on the right track. Thanks for watching.